So important topic derive expression for of power frequencies in series resonance. Okay, so it is important uh, derivation. I already explained one more time. I'll explain. So this is omega x axis, and it is a current, current versus frequency. So it is a uh, radians per second. You can also write f. So its uh, unit is hertz. Okay. So the center one is omega r is a resonance frequency. Omega and omega two are cut off frequency or of power frequencies at resonance. Okay, at omega r, current is maximum. Okay, and uh, impedance at this point is purely resistance. It is equal to r. And at omega and omega two, we have of power frequencies. And uh, at these two points, at these two points, the value of r is equal to root two times r. So now let us derive this. Current at the maximum is I m. At top power frequency, it is I m by root. And at F one and F two, Z is equal to root two times R. So we know that for a series R L C circuit, Z is given by R plus J X L minus J X C. So take J common. Uh, we have J X L minus X C, and if you take the magnitude, it is root of R square plus X L minus X C. Whole square that is the magnitude of impedance at any point, any frequency. Now, at F one and F two, at F one and F two, that is at uh, four frequencies, Z value becomes root two times R. Z value becomes root two times R. Let us substitute Z value is equal to root two times R, and uh, root of R square minus X minus X whole square is equal to root two times R. Then square both side R square. Plus x l minus x c whole square is equal to root two whole square is two and square of r is r square r square r square get cancel now two r square this is two r square minus r square is r square if you bring this r square to here is r square x l minus x c whole square so r value is equal to x l minus x c r is equal to x l minus x c now you can see the frequency response and uh, in at the frequency and we know that omega l is directly proportional and x c is inversely proportional to the frequency at lower frequencies omega l is less and omega c is greater so uh, x is greater x is greater than x l at omega 1 okay so at f1 let us consider x is greater than x l actually this is x l difference x2 if i take uh, r it is plus or minus r will be equal to plus or minus x c this plus or minus x c sometimes for low frequency uh, x is greater than x l at f2 okay at f2 x l is greater than x c so at uh, f1 x is greater than x l so let us consider x l x is greater so x is 1 by omega 1 c x l is omega 1 l r take uh, omega 1 C LCM okay one omega one square LC is equal to R and try to write it in a quadratic equation okay this is cross multiply after cross multiplying R into omega one C and this omega this omega one square if you bring it to right side becomes plus so one also if you bring it to right side becomes minus and try to write in the form of quadratic equation so divide throughout by lc if you divide throughout by lc omega 1 square then r by omega 1 if you divide by lc cc will get cancelled just with only l and minus 1 divided by lc is 1 by lc is equal to 0 this is in the form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c a x square plus b x plus c. a value is 1, a value is 1, b value is r by l, c value is 1 by l c. So, root of quadratic equation is minus b, okay. Root of quadratic equation is right here, quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. The root is given by x1 and x2 is given by minus b r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a a value is 1 
so 2 into 1 minus b minus r by l so this r minus root of r by b square means r by l whole square minus 4ac minus 4a is 1 c is minus lc minus into minus into this, this becomes plus now r by this 2l uh, plus or minus this bring this uh, two inside the root it becomes 4 4 can be written as 2 square r by 2l whole square and 4 4 get cancel here in the second term we left with 1 by lc so f1 omega 1 is given by r by minus r by 2l and r square by 2l whole square plus lc and this is expression for omega 1 in terms of f1 you have to divide throughout this omega 1 is 2 pi f1 omega 1 is 2 pi f1 so if you want to express in terms of f this full term you have to divide by 2 pi so that is your f1 similarly at a omega 2 at omega 2 at omega 2 higher frequency okay xl is greater than xc so write xl difference xc is equal to r xl is equal to omega 2l xc is 1 by omega 2c plus multiply lcm is omega 2c omega then cross multiply means omega 2 square lc is multiply minus 1 is equal to omega 2c here denominator square okay next uh, we have lcm is omega 2c then if you multiply cross multiply you have omega 2 square lc minus 1 is equal to r and cross multiply we get to omega r into omega 2 c left side we have omega 2 square lc minus 1 then you bring this uh, omega 2 rc to left side it becomes negative again it is in the form of a quadratic equation divide throughout by lc so lc lc will get cancelled r by omega 2 this l will get cancelled c will get cancelled here 1 by lc so this is in the form of quadratic equation a x square a value is 1 b x b value is minus r by l c value is 1 by c and the root of quadratic equation minus b so minus b already minus is there in the b so minus into minus becomes plus r by l plus r minus square root of b square this minus r by l whole square is plus r by l whole square minus 4 ac minus 4 a is 1 c minus uh, c is 1 by lc so minus into minus becomes plus over 2 into a okay a value is 1 so r by 2 l this 2 will come to here and this 2 you have to bring it inside the root so if you bring inside the root it becomes 4 so 4 can be written as 2 square r by 2 l whole square and this if you bring it to inside the root it becomes 4 in the denominator 4 4 will get cancelled you left with only 1 by lc so now omega 2 is equal to r by 2 l plus r by 2 l whole square plus 1 by lc so this is expression for omega 2 and similarly if you want to express in terms of frequency f this is a its unit is radians per second its unit is radians per second and this unit is hertz omega 2 is r by 2 l plus root of r by 2 l whole square plus 1 by lc and uh, omega 2 is nothing but 2 pi f so 2 pi f2 is this much means f2 is this thing divided to divide by 2 so this is very very important derivation as per for 10 marks and um, note means uh, for q greater than 5 this 1 by lc okay this 1 by lc this 1 by lc is actually uh, very very high compared to the r by 2 l whole square so you can ignore r by 2 l whole square you can ignore so 1 by lc is nothing but omega r square so we can consider omega 2 is equal to this full thing is omega r only approximately if q is greater than 5 this is nothing but this full entire thing is 1 by lc is nothing but omega r square root of omega r square is 1 by uh, root of 1 by lc is omega r square root of omega r square is omega r so omega r plus 2 rl is uh, upper upper cut of frequency lower cut of frequency is omega r minus 
2L. Okay. So simplified formula is right here omega 1 is omega r plus r by 2 l and omega 2 is from center frequency you have to subtract 2 l and bandwidth is given by bandwidth is given by omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to uh, omega 2 minus omega 1 is omega r omega r will get cancelled so it is equal to uh, r r by 2 l minus r by 2 l minus of r by it is r by 2 l minus of minus it becomes plus r by 2 l it is 2 r by 2 l it will get cancelled it is equal to r by l only so that is the bandwidth so this is a very very important derivation you can study